Did you know that scientists have actually mapped out more of space than they have our oceans? So how do we engage 900 plus students on our campus in our fish tanks every day? Well, thanks to generous sponsors from our uh, donors here at Acacia, we have a live webcam. Practically the whole entire campus can watch this live fish tank in their classroom. So as they're doing lessons and studying, or just need a peaceful moment to sit back and watch, this fish tank is available anywhere on campus. I'm Mr. Siliberti. Um, I teach fourth grade here at Acacia, and I am kind of like the coordinator, uh, facilitator of the fish tank club that we have. I learned in first grade that fish could swim underwater with the gills. And having a fish tank gives them that um, an opportunity or something that we can relate to where it's hands-on and they, they, they see it firsthand. We are uh, making live rock because we are breeding clownfish and the clownfish needed it because it makes them feel more at home and they eat off of it. I'm a valuable member of our Acacia STEAM team, uh, a group of educators that have collaborated over the past year and a half, two years, to uh, bring our marine biology program to life here at Acacia. Uh, this has been purposeful planning. Uh, we've met together in, in, as a team and also grade levels have met together to make sure that the lessons we are uh, teaching our students uh, match up with our Arizona State standards and are meaningful explorations of marine biology. So this is their diet in, the natural o in their natural habitat in the ocean and it's like a treat to them. So at first I want to be an artist, but then my mind changed to a marine biologist because I just got I just got so engaged with um, the ocean. I think having a fish tank, uh, especially a saltwater fish tank, is just a unique opportunity. Uh, I mean, we live in a desert, and these kids typically don't, you know, they've never experienced uh, saltwater before. Um, you know, you ask around the classroom, and you know, a fourth of your kids will say, "Yeah, I've been to the beach." Um, so the majority of the kids never been to the ocean. They're learning so many aspects of how the ocean life works. Um, living in the desert, I know sometimes we don't have the opportunity to see the sea life in this perspective. So having this opportunity at school is huge for them because they get to study not only the life cycle of the fishes, but they also get to go into deep um, study of their habitats, how they survive, the different types of fishes that are out there. Um, and so I think it's really fascinating because it creates topics for us to discuss during our dinner time. What it does for me is it allows students to really develop and explore things that they want to do. It's not me setting the boundaries of, of assignments and tasks, it's letting them explore things that they want to do. Uh, for example, we have kids that are big into learning about the, the technical aspects of the fish tank. You know, how does the protein skimmer work? Uh, how does uh, how does the salinity and the salt water work together to uh, make sure th these fish are, are staying alive? And so each student takes something that they're passionate about, and then that passion comes out in their research. Uh, we're not just given a cookie cutter assignment, but they're really allowed to explore and do what they want to do. Houses are like ecosystems. You have to make sure that you help it stay stable and not break down on you. So we clean our home and we studied them, we put, we studied the filters, and we studied live rock and live sand, we studied the fish. Hello, my name is Mr. Hamrick. I'm one of the sixth grade teachers here at Acacia Elementary School. Uh, one of the things sixth grade's doing is um, we are breeding clownfish, and my class specifically is working on um, creating live rock. So what the students are doing is they're actually researching what live rock is, what ingredients make up live rock. Live rock is made out of uh, cement, water, sand, and oyster grit, and rock salt. It's a hands-on experience. They get to um, do the research, and then they actually get to see the research kind of come alive by creating it themselves. So we are making live rock in class, and we're going to soak it in water that is, has small microorganisms inside of it. Hi, my name is Jennifer Brady and I'm a parent of a second grade student here at Acacia. I'm also a paraprofessional, which I work with special needs kids on the campus. Uh, the fish tank here helps my son at home. He owns a betta fish, so he relates on a different level because he's able to take care of his own fish at home. He comes here and he tries to compare 
about what these fish are compared to his fish. Um, he loves the shrimp called bacon. That's a big, big thing for him. Um, here at school, when I'm working as a one-on-one -on -one aide, I have a student that comes in here and he uses this as a calming mechanism. Um, it helps decrease frustration or behaviors uh, within the class, then he also has something to come back to talk to his second grade class about. It's always been a centerpiece ever since my son went here in kindergarten that he could tell you everything and anything that goes on with this tank because they keep him very educated in the classroom. Abraham Lincoln once said, towering genius disdains a beaten path. It seeks regions hitherto unexplored. That's exactly what we're doing here. We're looking for those unexplored regions, those pathways to success that we haven't explored before. So as kids look forward to their future, the endless possibilities exist, and we hope some of those are in the fields of science and marine biology. When my favorite teacher, Mr. Celebrity, invited me on to um, Fish Tank Club, got even more ha got even more happy because that's what I wanted to be, and I felt like it would really help help me. And I and and I don't and I don't see it as a job. I see it as fun because even though I need to raise waste some of my recess to take care of the fish, I still see it as a I still see it as fun, not a job.